Hello there, welcome once again to School of the Spirit. I'm sure that you've been greatly inspired, edified, and have your work with God enhanced uh, by the discussions that are coming to you and have been coming to you on this platform. This is School of the Spirit where we deal with the matters of the Spirit. Insight, truths from the Word of God to accentuate and to bring clear perspective to your work with God. And we want to talk today about developing spiritual discernment. Now, this is a very important subject, especially because we're living in the last days. It is important that every child of God is discerning and understand what spiritual discernment is. Now, the word discernment can be substituted with the word judgment or understanding, having a detailed understanding in-depth understanding about an individual about a cause or about a thing this is what discernment really is so when we say spiritual discernment it's having a spiritual comprehension being able to understand something through your ability to access the truth or the origin of that thing from the realm of the spirit now we know as the bible tells us that the worlds were framed by the word of god and the word of god is a spiritual reality and that tells you that everything you see in the material universe is a subset or is a child to that which exists in the immaterial universe or in the supernatural dimension in the realm of the spirit and so the source of all things lies in that context of civilization in the realm of the spirit so for you to know the truth of a thing you will need to probe into the spiritual depths of that thing for you to know the truth of a family of an individual you need to probe down their roots into the realm of the spirit to find out the truth about them or about a curse and this is very important for your survival as a believer in the last days and so i believe god wants us to develop spiritual discernment um, so that we are not ignorant of what he is doing so we can partner with him so that we are not ignorant of uh, the patterns of our world today and the things that hold sway also so that we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy the bible says in in second corinthians 2 11 lest satan should take advantage of us because we are not ignorant of his devices so god would not have us ignorant in the last days and this this is why spiritual discernment is a must understand or understood uh, and most comprehensible subject philippians chapter 1 verse 9 to 10 it says and this i pray that your love may abound still more and more in knowledge and all discernment that you may approve the things that are excellent that you may be sincere and without offense till the day of christ so it speaks about growing in the love of god and the sign will be that you are increasing in knowledge and discernment now remember in Ephesians chapter 3 from verse 18 to 19 the Bible says that we'll be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the height the depth the length and the breadth and to know the love of Christ which passes all knowledge and then we'll be filled with the fullness of God so when we grow in God's love we are filled with the fullness of God now the Bible says as a proof that we are growing in love we increase in knowledge of course this knowledge is spiritual knowledge and discernment that our understanding deepens and broadens our judgment about things becomes 
closer and closer to the truth as we grow in the love of God. That means true love is able to discern. And you should be able to discern true love, whatever kind of love is existing in a relationship. But that's just a side. So the Bible says that when we grow in discernment, we'll be able to approve the things that are excellent. You know, somewhere in First Thessalonians chapter 5, the Bible says we should prove all things and hold fast to that which is true. To prove means to try, to test. So we'll be able to approve things that we have discerned to be correct and excellent so that we are without offense. In Ephesians chapter 5, the Bible tells us that we can discern the will of the Lord. In Ephesians chapter 5, the Bible tells us in verses 17 that we are able to discern the will of of the Lord and here's how he puts it in verse 17 he says therefore do not be unwise but understand what the will of the Lord is the word understand can be substituted with the word discern that God counts wisdom in the life of a man when he or she is able to comprehend able to discern able to deeply understand the will of God concerning their life concerning situations around them concerning their family their loved ones their businesses their ministry their career the seasons and timings of their life do you know you can grow in discernment to a point where you can discern times and seasons over your life now that's a heightened level of discernment when you are able to discern the times and seasons of your life when you are able to discern the times and seasons of your life, you will naturally know what kinds of prayer to pray. Because if God is not responding to a prayer you are making, maybe you are not praying it in its timing or in its season. So we can grow in discerning the will of God. We can also grow in discerning the hearts of men. In Psalms chapter 55, A very interesting scripture that I'll read to you. Psalms 55, the Bible tells us in verse 20 to 21, he's speaking about an individual. He has put forth his hands against those who were at peace with him. He has broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. You see that there was a breach in the communication between the heart of this man and what he said. He sounded appealing in his words, but his heart carried war in it. Now, if you were to deal with this kind of individual, except by spiritual discernment, you will not know that you are dealing with a saboteur. You are dealing with a destroyer. You are dealing with an adversary, an enemy, a foe. And many people are victims today of undiscerned relationships they didn't understand who this person is and you must remember the bible says in jeremiah 17 that the heart of man is deceitful and above all things desperately wicked it says no one can discern it but i like verse 10 of that same chapter it says i the lord searches the heart in other words only i the lord can discern the heart and now that we have the lord living and dwelling in us by his spirit we through the spirit of god can discern the hearts of men know who to deal with and who to run from know who to draw close and who to refrain from we can discern times and seasons of the workings of god over our lives we can discern danger ahead and forestall it we can discern the evil activities and whims and caprices of the enemy and know how to come against them we can discern our battles in a season of warfare Because when you discern your battles, you know how to fight and what battle to fight and what battle to allow God fight for you. We can also discern the will of God. This is just the first episode in this discussion. We're going to have many, many more till we come into clear understanding and we grow in the knowledge of God's will and in spiritual discernment. God bless you. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.